Hi everyone and welcome to episode 4 in our skill system series. In this series we're creating a skill system where you can spend perk points to upgrade your character in a game. So currently we set up the toggle for our window. So if I push play here you can see that's what we've done in the last episode. And we also set up the actual skill system itself that allows us to query whether or not we have a skill uh, installed on the player. If we do we can react accordingly. What we're doing in this episode now is adding ability to see the different skills in these buttons here. So at the moment they're just blank skills that do nothing. We'll be adding that to the game here quite soon. So to get started, what we're looking at doing is go onto our skill button UI that we made in the last episode. Go to the graph and on here we're going to add a new variable. And the variable here is going to be the skill row name ID. So let's call it skill row name underscore ID. And this is going to be a string. And this skill row name refers to a data structure that we set up in the previous episodes. So the data table here is all the data for our skills. Now I've already gone ahead and filled out my nine skills I've got in my game and set up all the different skill icons and so forth. You just go through and add the various uh, settings you like, just type them out, whatever you want. And the row name here is what's being referred to in that string. So whatever I type in here has got to refer to one of these. If it doesn't, then it won't work. Okay, so with that done, it might be a good idea to have this to the side so you can actually read what the various skill names are. With that, we're going to go into our, uh, once you compile that, we're going to go into our skill window. And we're going to select each one of these skill buttons and change their name. But before we do that, I forgot, we have to go back to the skill button UI. And that skill row name UI uh, name ID needs to be public. So tick the little eyeball icon or go down to instance editable in the details panel and then compile it. Now when you click on one, you'll see on the right hand side, you can type in space there, the skill row name ID. So my exploration ones are these first three here. So let's just make this a bit bigger and easier to see like so. So this first one here is going to be, oh, let's make that a bit easier to read. Uh, double jump. This one here is going to be repair. And this one here is going to be locksmith. And you go through each one of these entering the names. I'm going to cut ahead and fill those all out so you don't have to waste time watching me do this. So I've gone ahead and typed in all the names of the various skills here, matching them to the data table that I previously made. With that now done, we're now going to go ahead and make it so it links that skill row uh, name ID with the actual data table. So compile what you've got in your skill window and close that. And let's go to the skill button UI. In the graph of the skill button UI, we'll be using the event pre-construct. So I'm going to delete the other two. And on the pre-construct here, we're going to drag our skill row name ID out and choose get and we're going to type in data table and we're looking for the get data table row. This will plug into your event pre-construct and the data table you want to choose from your drop down so skill data table and the row name you just drag in your string there and it'll convert it to the correct type. So when the row is found, if it is found, it will output the data in this structure here. So I can drag out from this structure and to break. And you can see all the details here. Now this thumbnail is what I really want to use, uh, for, at least for now. So this thumbnail here, I'm going to link to my skill thumbnail variable over on the left hand side here. So drag that uh, variable out and choose get. And from here, we're going to do set brush from texture. And we're going to link that up to row found and link the texture up to the thumbnail. Hit compile. Now, because it's connected to pre-construct, that means it's being constructed in the editor before the game's even running. Which means that if I go to my skill window now, I will now see all the skills now showing in my window here. And there you have it. 
Now before we end up this video, I'm just going to sort out some of the spacing here, make things a bit nicer and easier to read. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, so on each of these text for the categories, I'm going to add some padding at the top of it. So over on the right hand side, I'm going to click on the padding here and add to the top one. Let's add 20. Um, let's try that to 50. And I'll do that to each one of the category names. And it will just push it all down. Okay. You may want to change the background of your wrap box if you want. It's totally up to you. So my wrap box here for my exploration, I'm going to add in a border here. So I'm going to put in a border. And then I'm going to drag my skill, uh, not skill button, wrap. Sorry, undo that. I'm going to wrap my wrap box in a border. Sorry, wrap with border. And this border here, we're going to change the padding of the content here to zero. And we're going to change the brush color in the background to match my color here. So we're going to go for blue. And change the opacity here to 0.5. And I've just adds a bit of color to it, a bit of variation. Do whatever you like with it. So again, I'm going to wrap this with a border. And this one's going to be green. And again, alpha 0.5. And this bottom one here, I'm going to wrap with a border. And this one, I'm going to make a red. Orangey red anyway. And change that to alpha to 0.5. And click OK. Hit compile now. And let's have a look at that in game. And there we go. I've got my various skill buttons. And you can click on them. They don't do nothing yet. But you can click on them and see that they are actually buttons. And there you have it. And there's our skill window set up in our, in our game. So... That'll do for this episode. Nice, short and sweet. We've got our skill icons linked up. And because we've done that skill data table thing, we've now got access to the whole lot of data. So that's the name, description, and so forth. So when it comes to doing the tool tips for these various skills, we'll be able to see that uh, and get that quite easily. In the next episode, we're going to make it so that when you click on one of these, you can spend perk points. And those perk points will then uh, uh, enable the skill and we'll show how to enable that. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to watch that next episode right now, head over to patreon.com forward slash RyanLady, where you can pay just $1 and get access to that video plus many others. Big thank you to all my patrons for their continued support. Now this would be possible without you guys, so thank you again so much. If you're not subscribed to my channel and you like what I do, please, please, please hit that subscribe button. It helps out massively. And also, don't forget, if you have any questions or suggestions for future content, leave a comment below. I'll be happy to read them. Thank you guys, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.